What about the capybaras? We they're called carpinchos. I don't know how I don't know how that got such a such a wide distribution around the world. Though it is funny, it, it happened like a month ago now. Maybe it just feels like a month, but it was a while ago. I mean, I, I've been to the neighborhood once before where they're, they're taking over, and it's like a dystopia. It's like a a, a gated community built out of a, a reclaimed swampland, and it's like specifically crafted to look like like it's like a Miami suburb or something. Like everything about it, down to like the the way that the roads are painted, the the colors of the street lights, of the traffic lights rather, the the architecture of like the shopping centers, the malls, like the fact that like every single business there is a chain of a multinational American company, like Starbucks, McDonald's, that sort of thing. There's no there's no such thing there as like a small business. It's all specifically designed. So that people who hate their own country and want to feel like they're living in Miami, but who are not capable of getting a visa to actually go live in Miami, can live there and pretend they live in Miami. So that, that's the background on the neighborhood that um, the capybaras are taking over. And obviously this neighborhood was built on land that is um, the, na the natural habitat of capybaras. They are swamp dwelling animals. So I'd just like to lend all of my solidarity to the revolution of the capybaras. And um, I can't, I can't say that um, I, I'll mourn the deaths of too many golden retrievers in this battle. In this, in this relation, the capybaras are the oppressed indigenous people, and the dogs are colonizers. Think about it, okay? But like before, I saw, before this happened, I literally, I didn't even know that capybaras were so close to me. Like it's, like it's like two hours away from where I live. I thought they were like some mystical fucking jungle animal in, that you only find in the Amazon, which is in a jungle, it's a rainforest. What's the difference between a jungle and a rainforest? Wait, we're gonna find this out live on stream. I don't know. Is there a difference? Jungle versus rainforest. Ah, uh, so a jungle is, is like a forest without a canopy that blocks sunlight from reaching the floor of the forest while a rainforest has shit that blocks light. Okay. Yeah, so the capybaras basically, what they did when they built this place is, I, I'm pretty sure they like expelled the capybaras or something, like moved them, but some of them evidently remained. And o over the last like 20 years or so, they've slowly been building in population. And now the population has exploded to the point where they're able to like move out of the more secluded areas of this, of this, um private neighborhood, which is called Nord Delta, by the way. And now they're like a factor of everyday life. And I think it's awesome. I think it's fantastic. It couldn't have happened to a, a more deserving community. Just like an incredible example of bad taste, that place. Capybaras are indeed communists. Their name is um, Capybara Guevara. Every, every capybara has the surname Guevara, it's true. I looked it up. If you disagree, you're banned.